What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we'll be talking about a few different topics here. We'll be going over Jeepers Creepers. We'll be going over a Saw X update. And we'll be rounding out with a Scream 7 theory. Just to start it off with Jeepers Creepers, more specifically Jeepers Creepers 4. The writer of Jeepers Creepers 4, Sean Michael Argo, has revealed some insight on why Jake Seal's name seems to appear as a co-writer during the end credits of the recent film. Now, a fan had asked him if Timo or... If him or Timo had wrote the script and he said this, I wrote the core script, then producers and directors took their pass and then they filmed the movie. As a writer for film, one must always be prepared to have your work revised to suit the vision of any number of suits and creatives. This is all a part of the profession. Now, he didn't go into any real specifics as to what might have been on screen that he didn't initially have envisioned in his screenplay initially. He didn't specify what they might have changed, what he actually had wrote, because I'm questioning now how much of this core script actually made it on screen. I would like to think that most of this was still him. But when you have all these incompetent people touching on it and all of these other people that clearly don't need to be involved with this franchise anymore going forward, dabbling in it, you end up with a movie like Jeepers Creepers 4. So now I'm curious to know if this original script upon reading it might come off a little better as opposed to how it was executed by a bunch of incompetent idiots. So this was a fun comment to see from him which kind of gave some clarity again as to why i saw jake seal credited as a co-writer because i'm like jake seal wasn't even brought up as a writer at any point before this movie was released it just was a random thing you saw during the inquest i'm like jake seal had something to do with this but shout out to you i believe your name is pronounced simone or if it's pronounced something other way i apologize shout out to you for bringing this to my attention guys we have got to get this ip away from these people because this creative team they are incompetent and they're only out for money when you have jake seals lawsuit addiction i'm calling it an addiction just to be funny michael hoven possibly not caring about the quality you have them hiring the lowest of the low for acting and it's just not in good shape with these folks around and then you have the audacity to contribute or not to contribute um dedicate the film to salva's victim like how uh, how out of touch are you we're trying to get away from him and get away from all of this bs we don't need you doing stuff like that and then on top of that the movie is terrible like bro don't dedicate a trash movie to somebody don't even bring him up period leave him alone so just to jump into saw x saw x is rumored to be giving shawnee smith's character of amanda a meaty role now this comes from viewer non over on twitter who responded to a fan reminding them that saw x is set in between the events of one and two and that shawnee smith will have a meaty role apparently now to me, this would imply that this isn't just some simple cameo appearance, or at least her return will be put to good use and not like a Kyle Richards Halloween Kills Halloween Ends moment where she's just showing up and basically there for nostalgic reasons, contributes very little to the overall story progression. Keep in mind, the story that we're expected to have in Saw 6 is rumored to be centered on jigsaw going after a doctor who is a fraud or something like that, going around selling miracle operations. Amanda might just be the one who I would think stalks and captures the doctor before Jigsaw, uh, John, gets to play with them in a new sadistic game. Now, that's all I can think of as far as a possibility for her meaty role. We could have a twist that reveals that the doctor is somehow connected to Amanda, possibly, as well. That's always a possibility. I just think that this comment from viewer Anon is something that would lead to a satisfying comeback from Shawnee Smith and not something that will, again, be in the vein of Kyle Richards in the last two Halloween movies, because I feel like that was literally a waste of Kyle Richards and the character of Lindsay Wallace. So you guys let me know what you think her meaty role could potentially be down in the comment section below. We're going to jump into this theory I have regarding Scream 7. Now, this theory is centered on which of the Meeks twins would be the best option to kill if you were to kill either one of the two. So we know... Since they did not pull the trigger in Scream 6, Scream 7 is likely going to be a bloodbath. It's probably going to have a lot of high emotions. It's probably going to be killing off a lot of your beloved love it characters that you've grown to love from the events of five and now getting to know them and spend a lot more time with them during the events of six scream seven is probably going to break your heart by killing a few of them off now if this pertains to the meeks twins which of the two would be the best option to kill for the sake of story progressions now i know different contexts can lend you to different perspectives my perspective here is that when i'm factoring in how i know that a lot of people not that you guys are the majority but a lot of people out of what I see, you seem to have a problem with Mindy. 
you seem to have a problem with Mindy. You think she's annoying. You think she's forced. And in some regard, I get why she's annoying. I did actually say that I found the character to be a bit annoying at times, I think, in my review. I still love the character. I just know that she's not coming off as natural as Randy. However, Jasmine does a great job in the role. I love her delivery. And I still love the character of Mindy. But I know a lot of people, they despise her. So with that in mind, I think killing off Mindy would not be the right way to go. I think the right way to go would be killing off Chad. I think killing off Chad would have a lot more of an emotional impact on certain characters as opposed to Mindy. Because with Chad, you know, he has that blossoming relationship possibly developing and hopefully progressing in between the events of six and seven with Tara. So if he were to go out in a blaze of glory in Scream 7, I know they teased it in six, but actually committing to it in seven, I think that would be a lot much more emotionally draining to sit through if it's executed well than killing off Mindy. Because a lot of people, again, within the context of the fandom that I see, they seem to not like that character. So I think the person that people have a better attachment to that you would have a more emotionally charged reaction from would be if you killed chad because killing mindy i think could lead to some people saying oh yippee hooray yeah they're celebrating that i don't want you celebrating anybody i kill off i want you to be attached to this person i want your heart to be in shambles so i'm not gonna go after mindy i'm gonna go after chad i'm gonna leave your heart broken i'm going to poke at you i'm going to make you feel some type of way i don't want you celebrating so collectively i think more people prefer the character of chad which is why i think that i would kill off chad in scream 7 and again, I just think that Chad's death would have a bigger fallout that could push the story a lot, push the story forward in a lot more compelling ways. Getting to see his mother, uh, of course, mourn his death, how that impacts her. And now having lost a son, she already lost her brother. Also, again, happening during the ghost face attack. And then Mindy, of course, getting to see Mindy mourn the loss of her brother because those two seem to be very close from what we see of them because we don't really get to see too much of them i would love to see them interact a little bit more in seven before one of them dies uh, and of course you could do the refer do the reverse by killing off uh mindy and leaving chad to be the one alive but knowing how a portion of the fandom seems to be against mindy and the more people seem to be in favor collectively of chad that's why i would kill chad i want to go for the jugular i want to do something that's going to actually hurt you not make you celebrate yippee and all that stuff no i want to break your heart so i think chad would be the way to go and i think killing chad would have a lot more of a bigger impact on the story you guys let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news reviews like in the coming or in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video